everybody Amanda here thanks for joining me if you are new do hit the subscribe button and if you're returning thank you for coming back I do appreciate it so Tuesday at the moment is a challenge day for my group create uh, with scrimping mama um, which is a group on Facebook there's a link in the description box below and every Tuesday I do a video for a challenge there and at the moment the challenge is altered playing cards now, if you want to join in, you're more than welcome. There'll be a new prompt every Tuesday, and today's prompt is butterflies. I'm keeping it simple. Everybody loves butterflies. Most people who are crafters have either got a butterfly stamp or a bit of paper with butterfly on, or can download a picture of a butterfly from Pinterest. It's just about the easiest thing. Um, and, you know, if you can um, have a go, that would be marvellous. So these do measure, because people have asked... Uh, if they can't get playing cards um, so two and a half by three and a half I think yeah two and a half by three and a half if you don't have playing cards cut up some uh, cardstock or uh, whatever you've got anything it doesn't matter an old cereal box anything put a bit of gesso or white paint on and then just get creating you don't have to have cards also I do sets of four you don't have to do four Okay, you can just do one. <laughs> I'm doing the full pack and there are a few diehards who will do the full pack with me. Um, it's been lovely. Everybody's sharing over on the group. It's fantastic. Right, so let's get cracking. So I don't know what I'm doing. I've got this. is new to me this week. This is the uh, uh, Papillon, or Papillon, pa yeah, Papillon, um, Tim Holtz. And also I've dug this out. Um, so I've trapped myself. Um, I buy craft stuff when I make a sale. So if I sell a journal, I'll treat myself to a new stamp set. And then I've got this one, which I got free in a magazine. And this has got butterflies and backgrounds. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I've got it out. It's got flowers and I don't know. I'm also going to be doing a mixed uh, media art page tomorrow, which is Wellness Wednesday, Art Therapy Day. Um, and I'm going to probably use the same ones, but I'm going to do a large page. Because it's new and I want to use it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I don't quite know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to dive into my very deep into my hard vault here. And anybody who's been following me a long time will identify immediately what this paper is and how much I love it. And I bought several packs when it kind of went out of circulation and you could get it for £3 something. And I've still hoarded them. <laughs> so I'm going to allow myself to use a page. Um, so let me just decide. Because I want I want mine to be like a vintage look. Um, if I get where I'm struggling to pick, I might pause the camera. Because <laughs> I might be like, oh, I don't want to use that bit. And I don't want to use that bit. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I will, I will, I'm, uh, yeah, I might, I might struggle. Quite like that. <laughs> I don't know that I might have that one. Um... No, we're going to go with that. Right. Sorry. I'm sorry. I just really struggle to use this paper. But um, in the process of reorganising my craft room again, I have to do it quite regular because um, I'm limited for space. Well, I don't know. I've got a full room, but. Um, I've got, I've just, I'm just a bit of a mentalist and I need to have it tidy um, and I need to have like boxes and baskets and things, they just need to be organised, I can't work effectively in clutter, so anyway, right, so I've got this new Liquitex, so we're going to see what that's like, that's my um, new, it's a gel medium, so it should be better than the other one. So let's have a look. I'm going to use, I've got some bits of music paper here. I've got a bit more music paper. A bit more there. A uh, bit of book page. And we're going to do some collaging because I don't like just one, just one thing. Right, so I'll try my best to stay in shot. Let me just zoom out ever so slightly. Okay, and we're going to start ripping up and um, adding these i might fast forward this bit because all i'm doing is collaging um so yeah i might just fast forward this bit i think i'm going to have these
Okay, so and um, that's those collaged and trimmed. I'm quite liking this um, Liquitex. Um, matte gel it is medium now it was uh, dearer than my um, Windsor and Newton um, and you get slightly less than the, the Windsor and Newton is 250 and this one's 237 but this it just feels nicer it don't I don't know it feels smoother um, yeah it don't it's not as stiff probably because it's a gel and strangely it doesn't seem to react as much with the distressing you know making it look rubbish <laughs> anyway I don't know I might be uh, imagining it but that's uh, what I think right so now I'm going to have a think about what I'm going to do this just needs trimming a little bit more have a think about what I'm going to do because I don't know I've no idea um, I don't have a plan I don't uh, always have a look on Pinterest um, because I don't like to directly copy what someone else has done but if I get really stuck I will <laughs> absolutely will I'll, I will copy them I'm not bothered that's what Pinterest's for if you get stuck get on there find some altered playing cards and just borrow the idea it's fat there's nothing wrong with that that's what that's what people share for that's what I share for I don't mind if somebody uses my ideas if it's a YouTube uh, creator I think they should give uh, credit but it, it, you know for, for you guys you can steal my ideas all day long right so what am I going to do now I think I'm going to just add a right little bit of gesso I've got to be careful because I'm now I've sealed that with the uh, gloss uh, gel medium so that distressing there shouldn't run into my gesso theoretically <laughs> let's just grab a little brush and I'm just going to do I think what I'm just going to do is a little bit of dry brushing just some dry brushing so I'm literally just going it on my brush I've got an old worn out one that's got a bit of a thick end um, and I'm just going to dab it yeah I'm going to dab it up just around and about so I've just got a little bit there on my lid uh, rather than using a card or a, anything fancy I'm just dabbing it and I'm dabbing it in an oval around the edges just to give it like a soft you know like when you see a softer edge around a photograph that's kind of the I mean you might not be able to see it in the end because I'll probably just put distress ink on it but you know just a little bit just to turn some of that down okay and then we'll leave that to dry because so I'm going to do some stamping okay I don't want to cover all that buzzy bee up. It just gives like a softer kind of ring around the outside. You might not see it, but I can. So I'm just using a dry brush. I have to get creative with my gesso because it's quite thick. There we go. That's a really good example. That looks really nice. Right, so I'm just going to set them to dry there and we'll do some stamping. So I'm going to, like I say, use my new Tim Holtz one and I'm using this mixed media pad here. I don't know if it'll stamp nice on here, but if I'm sticking it on there and I want to put some sprays on or something like that, if I use standard cardstock, it might warp because I'm going to fussy cut the butterflies. But you know, it, it doesn't really matter if you don't have uh, watercolour paper or mixed media paper you can stamp on cardstock, you can stamp on book pages you can, if you stamp butterflies on book pages and then fussy cut them it looks ace just use what you've got, you don't have to do what I'm doing okay so let's have a look <laughs> yeah so I'm just going to stamp this row here and um, this is a mixed media page so what I'll probably do after I'll stamp it here so I can cut it out. I'll fill this page and I'll stamp loads because, like I say, I'm going to do a journal cover to uh, a journal page tomorrow in my art journal. So I'm going to use archival because it's waterproof. So if I decide I want to add a bit of watercolour in onto the wings or whatever, then it won't run. I don't think that's not big enough, is it? Am I going to need my big Macca one? 
going to need my big massive one. I'm going to put it at an angle. Oh, to get my big massive one out. Okay like for me. I've got every size block you can think of. Now if you don't have blocks for your stamps, you can, you know, these rubber things will stick to just about anything. Use a CD case, use, you could probably use the back of your mobile phone. <laughs> you could use anything. I'm sure you can think of something. Um, you know, as long as you're getting some sort of even pressure, it'd be fine. I've used all sorts to stamp with. Or, you know, you can just ink up just the stamp and then just stamp and hold it with your hand or put the paper over the top as long as it's on a flattish surface you just want to get good results that's the only reason there's no point stamping and it turns out rubbish and you'll think it's you that's not stamping but um, it's uh, it's not it's just having a knack I'm completely out, I'm out of shot now let's see how nice I, it might not stamp on this paper because it's watercolour paper it might not like it I don't know I might need it uh, more pigmented. Oh no, he's done it fine. It's quite... Uh, yeah, that's nice, that. Yeah? Oh, that's nice. I fancy doing like my own background papers with that. So I'm just going to trim that off because I'm going to fussy cut them individually. I might do another one because I might put... A full one's not going to fit, is it? No. So I'll just trim this off. I'm trimming it. I'm literally going to cut it that way because I don't want to waste any of this paper because it's really good. And um, they're not cheap. These, they're you know, like, I think I paid about I don't know if it was seven or eight pound, which is a lot of money for a paper pad. But it's uh, Winsor and Newton, and it is worth it if you can afford. You know, when you're treating yourself. I'm not somebody that buys craft stuff every week, but you know, when I've sold a journal and stuff, then I can treat myself without feeling guilty. <clears throat> anyway, so right, I'm going to fast forward this bit because I'm going to fussy cut these. Um, butterflies all right and then okay I'm... so I fussy cut these now I want to add a bit of color um, so I'm going to get some watercolor pencils I'm not adding heaps of color I just want touches of it um, just to you know I'm not doing no big massive you know artistic 3d shading I'm literally just adding a little bit of color okay where there's um, white space that is it there's no big intention there I'm just adding a little bit okay um, <clears throat> an orange we've got an orange quite like orange ones okay so I'll just scribble on some watercolour pencil <coughs> and then I'll go over it with a water brush um, so this one I think I fancy a bit of red on there because the water brush will um, intensify the colour a little bit okay Going over. I'm just literally going over now if I wanted a more detailed look with these stamps I need to play this is the first time I've used them so I don't know if that's the result or if you can get a more detailed look with a um, smoother card this is watercolor so it's going to absorb the ink a smoother card and a juicier ink like a um, pigment ink I'm going to give it a try because um, like, like I say I'm doing the um, thingy tomorrow, my uh, mixed media thingy my bobby so I'll have a play, we'll do this one with a little touch of blue just touches of blue um, and it, I might be able to pick up a bit more detail, it might not, it might be meant to look like that <clears throat> okay let's have a look what colour we're going to do with this one I quite like the red on that one I think, I'll do a deeper I've got a feeling I'll pick up more detail if I use a different kind of paper. But I'm happy with it for today. It's fine. So 
I'm just literally scribbling, scribbling it on. <laughs> literally scribbling it on. Let's have a look, is that a... And then what we do is we get our water brush and just lightly go over and it'll intensify those colours and smooth out, smooth it out. Just get my special specialised palette. <laughs> Does anybody else use the back of the hand for everything? Right, so yeah. If I just run over that now, it'll just intensify that blue. Okay, it's a little bit uh, a little bit too intense, is that? <laughs> they are quite good, those watercolour pencils, I will say. So I'm just going to dab it. Okay. And I'll just do like a watercolour wash over the stamp. And dab it off and then just add a little bit just a touch because we've got such a vintagey background um, I just want a little pop of colour just clean that blue off my brush see how that little scribble of orange there is just brightened because I've added the water these are just stamping up ones that I've had for years. I think uh, most watercolour pencils will inevitably work in the same way. So it doesn't matter what brand you use. You know, you can pay not a lot for some on Amazon up to an absolute fortune for some of them. Literally an arm and a leg. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Right, that's fine. Get a bit more water. This brush has had it, it doesn't. The water doesn't just automatically feed through, you've got to like nearly water out, it's not a very good one. I think I got this from stamping up, I'm not, I've never been mad keen on it. Can't get everything right, can I? <laughs> and that. Ooh, that's a nice colour, that's one of my favourite ones. That I think it's uh, Bermuda. I think it's either Coastal Cabana or Bermuda Bay. I don't even know if they're still current colours. I'm not up to date with the uh, with it at all. Right, so that's added some colour to those. I'm just going to quickly blast them. I won't fast forward because I'm only I'm only blasting them. Oh, I'm all tangled up. Just turn my phone off so nobody can ring me. Oh, there we go. Quick blast just to dry that so that there's no water. Oop. Alright, and then I'm going to add some distressing around the edges. Yeah, definitely going to need to have a play with these stamps and that's what you need to do. Um, if something you're not happy with something the first time, just keep try different inks, try different papers. I mean, if that's how they are, that's how they are because, you know, the Tim Holtz stuff are meant to be vintage, aren't they? But I would have liked to see a bit more detail on those. So I'll give it a try, probably because I've done it in watercolour. Trying to be clever. <laughs> When I'm not. Right, so let's have a look. So, I'm going to put um, that one on there. I'm going to put that one there. And I'm going to put... I like that B. So I don't want to use... I'm just going to put one there and that there. Right, so that's where I'm having them. Do I want something layering under? I wouldn't mind a bit of fabric. Let's have a look what we've got. Let's get some cheesecloth on job. Yep. You know, just to make it a bit... Uh, last a bit longer, Amanda. 
make your video a bit longer. Maybe we'll have it four weeks long, this video. <laughs> it's like a perpetual. There we go. That looks nice. I like that. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to um, probably just skip this bit while I faff about with this cheesecloth. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of cheesecloth under each butterfly for texture and then we will we'll be back. All touch right. stamping. So I'm going to use this big one here and I'm just going to touch it in places. I'm just trying to decide what colour I want it. Um, whether I want it brown or black. I think I'm going to go for the black, I think. Where is it? There it is. So I'm just going to add it on quite light and then just gently just yeah just a bit touch stamp there you can only just see that to be honest hold on let's try a bit over there there we go I think I inked it too light <laughs> Sometimes I'm a little over cautious, I think. Right, so let's have a look. Where do we want some stamping? I want a bit there. Yeah, just touches of it. I like it. And some down here. Yep, yeah, that's nice. And that. Some. Here. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Pretty. On there. And some up there. A bit there. Okay, so that adds a bit of stamping. Now we need to ink all the edges and then for the final touch we're going to put some words on. Mine will probably end up looking all vintage -y. Um, the whole 52 of them probably rather than you know um, abstract or colour you know bright bold colours or you know that kind of thing mine will probably all end up like this um, because that's just the kind of style that ends up coming out whenever I make something and I think you know you don't have to copy my what I've done just grab your butterflies don't think and just create and then your own interpretation comes out then you know I've not thought I've not looked at anything that anybody else has done and I've just done some sticking and gluing and this is what I end up with now people keep saying what can you do with them as well as collect them you could put a, a grommet in there or a hole and use them as a tag um, yeah or a little journaling card or something like that so what I'm just going to do now is I quite fancy, I need to put the sentiments on, don't I? Put the sentiments on and then I might, I don't know yet, but I've got these cogs, I might stick a cog. I think it might be too much, I think they're quite busy. I won't, I'll save the cogs for another day. I won't overdo it and overcomplicate it. Um, so I just want my, my little sentiments and then we're done. I might, add, I might add a cog. I don't know. Should I? There's <laughs> <laughs> something wrong with my brain. I can't help myself. I like that bee there. I'm glad he's still showing. And I am think I'm going to put the sentiment near him. So then he kind of becomes as much of a focus as the butterfly. I may well add some... Will I? No, I'm not going to add no, any glitter. I was just thinking I could add some glitter to them. Um, so like sparkly butterflies. But I don't want to change my mind. What you can also do is add glossy accents to them. That makes them stand out beautiful. My friend Kay likes to go willy-nilly with glossy accents when she's doing stuff. And it looks amazing. That one there. I'll have that at the beginning, at the bottom I mean, and then I'll I'll decide. 
and then when I've done I'm gonna have to carry on with organizing my room because <laughs> oh, it's a hot hot mess I've got like a pile in the middle of my floor I'm looking at it now when I just feel like running away that needs either categorising, some of it needs to go in the recycle bin because it's just not useful um, but yeah, can't be doing with clutter can't be doing with clutter if you've not used it in I know we like to hoard and I know but if you've not used it in 10 years you're not going to use it, get rid of it because you can't breathe and you can't create if your room's full of clutter it's bad, it's like bad energy Honestly, I need like some sage. I need to burn some sage in here <laughs> for some good, good, some good energy. Right, let's have a look at these now and decide if I'm going to just add because am I just going to add some cogs or not? Because they've been staring at me of these cogs. I think that I think I will, you know, but I won't do it on camera. What I'll do is I will stop my video now and maybe add some of these little tiny cogs. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna, but they'll need to be stuck on. So probably just little tiny cogs like that, but they'll need to be stuck on with glossy accents. So I'll have to wait for them to dry. So that's this week's theme. Sorry, it's gone on a bit. But you know, these things are a miniature works of art. I hope you enjoy making yours. Don't forget to share on the group and anywhere you can so that you can inspire other people because that is what art is about. It's about inspiring um, others and maybe getting them to do some creating as well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.